Yay! Yay! Now we're starting an easy section, okay? So go ahead and copy. I mean, what did I say? Go ahead and copy the essential question, that is, okay? How can you find the measures of angles formed by intersecting lines? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so when you come to class, we're going to do like a little activity because we need to. Uh, we're basically talking about two lines intersecting. That means two lines are crossing each other. Then angles show up. So you can see right here. You can find relationships between the measures, okay? So... In other words, basically what they're trying to teach you is that you see angle number one and three. Well, they're opposite from each other and they measure the same. Okay? And they're called vertical angles. They're called vertical angles. And they measure the same. And that is all you have to know. But here's the problem. If I just tell you this... It's so easy. It's only been 30 seconds, I mean a minute, since I started recording. But see, it doesn't really help you learn, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you do all of this by yourself. And sometimes in order for you to do something like this, you need a real protractor and you might not have that at home. So we're going to do this activity in class, okay? Not that really, it's not that it's really important, but... You know, you have to know what vertical angles mean, which means they're opposite angles. And then uh, it's right here. Vertical angles means they're, they're opposite, opposite each other, angles that are opposite each other. Okay. And then uh, what is a linear pair? Okay. Uh, a pair of adjacent angles. Okay. And then um, opposite sides are whose non-common sides are opposite rays. Okay, to clarify, this angle here, this angle is called vertical angles, okay? So then what is a linear pair? A linear pair would be this angle and this angle. That would be a linear pair. Like when you add the two green angles together, it's going to be 180 degrees, which is a straight line. So there are some uh, basics that are missing here, okay? I'm hoping that you remember everything from middle school, okay? Some basic things you have to understand would be, for example, this is a 90 degree angle. That's a perpendicular uh, line, okay? What else do you have to know? Um, a straight line is 180 degrees. This is 90 degrees. Um, a whole circle would be 360 degrees. I think that's all you have to know. And this is called a straight angle. Uh, because it's a straight line. And this is called a right angle, the 90 degree angle, because it's, it looks like it's standing up right. It's a right angle. Okay? And of course, this is um, a whole circle, 360 degrees. I don't know what else you would have to know, but yeah, that's it so far. And so when you move on, I really highly recommend you do all this stuff, okay? This is also a very important concept. You have to know the vertical angles theorem. What do they, what do they mean? What is the vertical angles theorem? Oh, they, the angles measure the same. Didn't I just talk about that earlier? Yes, I did. Okay, so you have to actually go through all of this. And as you can see, um, you know, what they're basically trying to do is all you know is that you have these intersection lines intersecting. And you have to prove that angle 2 and 4 measure the same. And so these are all the steps that you have to go through in order to prove that opposite angles or vertical angles measure the same, that angle 4 and 2 measure the same. So you know what, this is something that I just want you to go ahead and do by yourself because, you know, doing this on your own is just valuable, really valuable, okay? And of course, I'm showing you all the answers right now, but uh, try and figure it out on your own, okay? And once you have accomplished that, you'll be so happy. And now let's take a look at this, okay? Now you have to be able to use vertical angles, okay? So for example, it says vertical angles are congruent, meaning they, they are the same. So congruent, just so you know, congruent means same. If you don't know the vocabulary words, then you won't be able to pass the test, obviously, right? A lot of you, most of you passed the previous test, but the reason why a lot of you did not pass is because of the vocabulary words. You didn't know what the words meant, right? So... 
Uh, what's the measure of angle 2? Well, the vertical angle is what? 134, they measure the same. That's why that's the correct answer. So this is like a silly one. Why did the answer become so easy, huh? Okay, so anyway, just do this all on your own. Just remember, vertical angle means they measure the same. So now here comes the homework question. Okay, so let's take a look. The measure of two vertical angles, okay? That means they are opposite angles. And what? They measure the same. Okay, and the vertical angles are what? Oh, they're 35 degrees and 3x plus 2 degrees. So it says find the value of x. Is that easy or what? I'm going to change colors because, you know, uh, it feels a little bit dark. All right, so if there are two vertical angles and uh, vertical angles measure the same, what does that mean? 35 has to equal what? The other one, 3x plus 2. Oh, gosh. Is this easy or what? You got to find out what x is equal to. So you have to first subtract 2 from both sides. Don't tell me that you guys don't know how to do this. This is so Algebra 1, okay? So 3x is equal to 35 minus 2 is 33. And then I still want to leave the x by itself, right? So what am I supposed to do? Divide both sides by 3. And so they cancel out and x is equal to 11. So what's the answer? The value of x is 11. So let's just type in 11. I know I'm going a little bit fast, but you know, I don't know if you noticed, isn't this so much easier compared to the other stuff that we've been doing? Yeah, I've been thinking exactly the same thing. And of course, it's correct. So there you go. Now let's move on. I have a feeling this video is going to be short. Okay. So again, more uh, vocabulary words. You know, this section, if you just take really good notes, think you'll be fine. Complementary angles are when you add the two angles and they end up being the sum is 90, uh, 90 degrees. Supplementary angles, when you add the two angles, it's 180 degrees. I had a student and uh, that I loved very much and she taught me this, okay? You see how complementary angle starts with a C? Complementary angles, when you add them together, it becomes 90 degrees. You know why? Because you see the C complementary. There you go. You see that? <laughs> I loved it. What about supplementary angles? You know how supplementary angle starts with the letter S? It's a sum of 180. <laughs> she said this, okay? So because some kids don't understand the difference between complementary and uh, supplementary. So here's the C and here's the S. It's just, it's like a, a way to memorize, right? Um, so that, that was just something I wanted to share. And so over here, I, I'm going to help you try and solve this question. Of course, I want you to scroll down and do this on your own at home. But look, let's try and think. They gave us 35 degrees, that's this angle. And this um, rectangle means this is 90 degrees, okay? And this angle here, over here, is 55 degrees. So I got to try and find the angle for uh, the other ones, which is this one, the red angle. And then I think they also want me to try and figure out what this angle is okay so let's try and figure it out oh wow boom did you see that the red angle here what is the opposite angle yeah that's this line and this line and so this angle and this angle are opposite angles these are vertical angles and we just talked about this vertical angles have the same measure okay so what do you think the red angle is going to be? Okay, so this angle right here, the measure of angle BFA, BFA. Or we could call it the measure of angle AFB. It doesn't matter as long as the F is in the middle, okay? That's this angle. Is what? 35 degrees, okay? Too easy. Now let's go ahead and try to find the measure of the other angle, which is this one right here, okay? So the measure of angle AFE or the measure of angle EFA, okay? It's the same thing. You can uh, start with A and then go FE or you can start with E and then go FA, all right? 
We're just talking about the middle angle here. So how can I find the measure of this angle? You know what? Let me see if there's another vertical angle that I could see. Oh, guess what? Remember how this one was 35 degrees because these two measure the same because they're vertical angles? I'm just noticing right now that this angle is a linear pair with this 35 degree angle. Because look, it, it forms a straight line over here. You see that? Okay. In other words, I have a straight line and this is 35 and I'm trying to figure this one out. Okay? This is A, this is E. Right? I need to figure this out. So what am I going to do? So remember I just said what? A straight line is a straight angle and that's 180 degrees. Okay? So these two angles, this one here and this one, these are a linear pair and they are also supplementary angles. What that means is they add up to be 180 degrees. So to find the measure of angle AFE or EFA, what am I supposed to do? The whole thing is 180 and then we're going to subtract that by what? 35. And that's going to give me 145 degrees. Okay? So the measure of angle AFE or EFA is the same thing. I'm just writing it twice so you know that it's the same thing. It is 145 degrees. So go ahead and work on this on your own. And let's go straight into your homework question. And we're going to be done. Yay. Shortest video ever, I think, so far. You can represent the measures of an angle and its complement as x degrees and 90 minus x degrees. Okay, yeah, because remember complement, we're talking about how it's 90 degrees. Okay, so when you add these two together, it's 90 degrees. Similarly, supplementary is going to be 180. Oh, man, I was going to do this. 180 degrees, okay? Um, so, yeah, you can express it like that. All right, the measure of an angle is equal to twice the measure of its complement. Okay, the measure of an angle, we have an angle, let's say it's M. Okay, uh, no, I don't like M. Let's call it A for angle. So that is equal to twice the measure of its complement. Oh, what? Twice the measure of its complement. Okay, so what would the complement of angle A be? It's going to be 90 minus A. I know, they used the X here, but we're going to, okay? So it's going to be twice the measure of its complement, and that's the measure of this angle. So let's just calculate this. Is this easy or what? I like um, blue. So first, we're going to distribute. I'm teaching my second grader, uh, I mean third grade daughter, how to distribute. It's very difficult. She doesn't want to listen to me. Anyhow, A is equal to 2 times 90 is 180, and then 2 times negative A is negative 2A right? And I, I live on top of the equal sign. I look to my, uh, is that my right? And to my left? Wait, that is to my left, right, and to you. Anyway, never mind. So I look and there's two A's, so we got to combine that, okay? So what we always want to do is get rid of the small guy first, okay? So which one's smaller, A, A or negative 2A? Of course, negative 2A. So we're going to go ahead and add 2a to both sides. That's going to give me, this is 0, right? So 180 is equal to a plus 2a, which is 3a. I still want to leave the a by itself. So what am I going to do now? Divide both sides by 3. So a is now equal to 60 degrees, okay? So the measure of the angle is what? 60 degrees, and the measure of its complement is going to be 90 take away 60, which is 30. So let's check our answer. 60 and 30. Check answer is correct, okay? So that's it. There's one more question, okay? And it's just as easy. Okay, so have fun, and I'll see you in class tomorrow. Don't forget, in class, we have to uh, learn how to use the protector, okay? Uh, so you can go ahead and understand why vertical angles measure the same. Happy learning! Goodbye!